Hello Technology Crazy here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a flash intro for YouTube videos, movies, or even websites. So it's going to be a pretty interesting video. I hope you enjoy it. Please comment, rate, subscribe of what you think about it below. Uh, so first off, we'll need to um, download CS5 Flash, which is an Adobe product. Uh, it costs $400 if you want to buy it, but you can get the trial version for 30 days, and you don't lose any features or anything, so it's all good. Uh, so just download the trial, install it, and do all that stuff, and then continue with the video. After that, you want to download the second thing in the description, which will be a link to templatemonster.com. Um, so I'll have a, like a link to the actual website and a direct link to the file that you'll need. Um, or I'll try. I don't know if I can yet. Um, some websites don't allow you to do linking and stuff um, to files. But anyways, getting out of that. Uh, so I'll have one uh, link to go into this page, which is all the HD templates and all professional ones where you can actually buy. Uh, they cost quite a bit of money, like $80 or even more. Um, some go down quite a bit, but there's pages and pages of them. But we're going to be f focusing on the example free one, uh, just to test out and all that stuff. Um, I'll have a link to the free flash example. It will say, uh, type in your email and stuff, and then you just type that in. It'll say thank you, um, and then you can click uh, click here and then just click it and you can install or download sorry and I already have it downloaded so I'm just going to go into my downloads and open it up it's just a zip file now if you go under sources uh, flash you can see an intro dot FLA now FLA is uh, a file for flash CS5 so you can just open that up in the program after extracting it and you'll see something like this. Uh, so you have a little red thing here that you can go back and forth and go throughout the uh, movie or the intro. And that's what we're going to be using with a few other features. So first off, you'll notice that there's a loading thing that we want to get rid of. Because in YouTube, you don't want to have your intro say loading or play now or anything like that. You just want to automatically start. So first off, we're just going to click on the little mouse button up here after going to the very beginning. And we're going to double click on the 100 here. And we're going to do it twice. Uh, and we're going to select all of the text and delete it. Then we're going to click scene one again. Just go back to scene one and click the mouse again and double click on loading. This time do the same and take away the text. So now there will be no text loading or anything. Next off, we're going to go up to the play intro here. And we're going to scroll up and down with this thing here and find the play now thing. So it looks like this is pretty close to the red line. So that means that... This has something to do with the play now, or play intro. So first off, this little thing with the flag here, that means you need to click on play now to start it. Now, we don't want that, so just going to click on that frame there, and right click, and clear keyframe. You're going to do that with this one, this one, and the text here. So this is the text that's um, it's fading in, and we're just going to delete that. Just click on it, and yeah, you'll do the same thing keyframe clear keyframe and clear keyframe now if we test it by clicking control enter uh, it's just gonna compile the movie and I'll just show you the full like what it, we have so far I'll just unmute it there sorry about that So we have, um, we've done the very beginning, but there's still all that text that we need to change and the background. Uh, so first off, we can go a little bit more forward. And there's also one more thing. There's that little sound button. That's going to be quite annoying. Uh, so we're just going to click around there, and we're just going to delete. 
or you can just delete the text, but this is easier just for this thing. You don't want to do that for the play now or anything. Uh, it's not always the same in all of them, so yeah. Um, so I'm just going to uh, move forward, and let's say we want to change this text. Make sure you're on the mouse button here, and we want to double click just like we did with the other text until we have this, and then you can edit and do whatever you want. You can be like, uh, you can take uh, the M away, or you can add in whatever you want, and it will change it for that uh, text right there. Uh, you can change any of that. So once you've edited all the text and stuff you want, uh, we're just going to go to the very end because there is a play intro again thing right oops, right uh, here. Replay intro. We want to get rid of that. So we just click on it. Or we just double click and get rid of the text. Okay, so now if you've done all the, everything uh, editing, you should have a good intro. Now we want to remove the background. Now, a warning is when you remove the background, you'll remove all the special effects like floating around or anything. Uh, you'll still get all the text and some some stuff, but you won't get uh, some effects you might lose. So I don't know if there's a way around that, but uh, what I've experimented with, I can't do it. But you might be able to do it. You can try around with it. I'm just going to show you the way I can do it. So that very beginning, uh, we can click on the background. Just like that, just near the end. This will take a little bit of trying. Um, but we'll find that on layer 2, the very first frame, is a background. So we're just going to click exit and we're going to delete that. So now there's no background. Uh, you can see that there's those little white things, um, but you won't have the circular uh, poppy out things that you saw before. Now the one thing they did is they re-put the background in a whole bunch of times, so we'll have to delete every single time. Uh, you can see that in the frame over here, there's no background, but if we move one frame over, there is. Uh, so that means we'll, we just scrolled all the way up and down, and we'll find this little dot here. We're just going to delete that clear key, ah, keyframe, and we're just going to keep on doing that throughout the whole film. And here we're going to delete it again. Now notice that there's this um, this stuff right here. Uh, when we delete it, it'll actually delete that too, unfortunately. I don't think there's a way around it right now. So, yeah. We can keep on moving here. And we can see there's another one right here. It's not necessarily the dot, but if you want to test if it is, you can click on it, and if you see a blue outline around the background, that means it is. Go forward again. And here we get some background again. So it happens in this frame, but it's obviously not the white ones here, so we're just going to scroll up until we see a black dot, just like this. And we're going to delete it and move on. I think it happens one more time. And yeah, somewhere here, right here, scroll down, there it is. And I think that's all. So unfortunately, you did lose, um, I think that, wait, maybe not. Ah, uh, yeah, there's a little bit of background here. So we can just scroll up and down. And is this it? Click on it? No, it's this blue thing here. So we're going to scroll down more. Or up. Till we find it. Now you can play around with it. Ah, uh, yeah, there, there it is. And I think this is it too. Okay, so now we're just going to preview what we have so far. Unfortunately, you don't have all the effects, so sorry about that, but it is a free flash intro. And if you want it for, if you're not big on making videos, you can do this, or you can find out how to get them for free or pay for them even better. Uh, so, yeah, so let's just test it out here.